About 13 miles from downtown Atlanta, welcome to Truist Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Baltimore Orioles going up against the Atlanta Braves. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year, Ronald Acuna Jr. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the play, defensively when he's on the bases. I and mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just about to get started, and on the hill, Spencer Strider. Always a treat to watch one of the best starters in the sport singing. Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I've become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. That one close, ruled a ball. And it's two and one. It's just the third pitch of the night, and already a little question on the strike zone oh, of the umpire in this one. And the right hander's 3 1. And that one is in for a strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now one away. I'll tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Adley Rutschman singing first overall pick out of Oregon State. What a college career he had. He helped the Beavers win the 2018 College World Series, and he was named the most outstanding player of the tournament. Yeah, I found it interesting that in his rookie season, many baseball experts said that he was the best catcher in the big leagues at the time. One down, base is empty. Off the mark there. Ball three. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Anthony Santander at the plate. Next pitch misses outside. Two and two. Two outs. Next offering is outside. Ryan Mountcastle. Next to bat for Baltimore. The pitch. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back here in Atlanta, and our pitcher tonight, Dean Kremer. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. 
Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Hayes makes the play. One down. Batting second. The second baseman. Here is Ozzy Albies up to it. There's a 1 1. Upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Next offering is fouled back. 2-2 Two -two now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. But why the kick the pitch? Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Got him. Two down. Oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Here's Austin Riley. Next pitch is outside. And here it comes. In the air to left center. Mullins settles under it. Makes the catch inning over. And to the first from Truist Park. No score. Second inning set to go. Leading off, Ryan Mountcastle. Singy Ryan Mountcastle, a former first-round pick by the Orioles in 2015. Here's the thing that gets me, though. He owns his own karaoke machine. And can I tell you, I've never done karaoke in my life. Yeah, try it sometime. Singy, what's your go-to karaoke song? Yeah, probably some song that'll cost us too much to mention in this broadcast. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire, very consistent with his zone, Chris, gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog, and I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way, so people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Under it is Acuna to make the grab, and there's one away. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to him. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss One there. Two no score here in the second. That's and it's even up. It's a good take. Two balls, two strikes. And misses inside. Got him. That's out number two. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. And now it's Austin Hayes. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. 
I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. And welcome back. Here is Matt Olson. The first baseman. Matt Olson. Left hand hitter waits. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then... If this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. So here's Murphy now. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Olsen, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No, he held up. Two two now. Got him. Back to back strikeouts. Here's Kevin Pillar. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning. One left for Atlanta. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. And a 1-1. In the air, center field. Harris after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. Top of the third, no score. Hit on the ground to the right side. Olsen steps on the bag and a couple of quick outs. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Here's Adam Frazier. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Left-hand batter waits. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Three up, three down for the Orioles, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third. Here's Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia. The 1-1. One -one. 
And right back to the mound. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. It's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. And it stays fair. Around first, digging for two. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Flied out his first time. Runner leads away at second. And a count one and two. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And now the count is even. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And it's filled up. Ozzy Albies. Next to bat for the Braves. Runner at second here, one gone. Sharp grounder, that's through for base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Lay at the plate, safe, and they take the lead. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. One down, runner at first. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. Check on the runner. Acuna dives back in. Acuna stands at first with one out. Another throw over, and he's back in that time as well. Right-hander kicks, deals. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. At the belt and fires. And yeah, that's Ball outside. That Acuna runs. There's a ball. Throw to second and great jump. Well, you can't fault the defense for not paying enough attention. They threw over a few times, but he just waited it out, kept his timing. He was able to swipe the bag. Nice job of base running right there. Three, two. And he walked him. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. So first and second with one man gone. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. him looking that's a strikeout just locked him up right there for the second out and that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while didn't pull the trigger not how you want to go down in an oh, RBI sure. spot so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up so first and second with two outs and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit swing and a miss and it's one and two And the righty deals. Hit hard on the ground is short. They get the force. 
and that'll keep more runs from coming in inning over but the RBI single pushes across a run it's now one nothing. Back at Truist Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Gunnar Henderson. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Good eye right there. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. No outs. Runner at first. Here's Adley Rutschman. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. The pitch. And that one missing low. A two one and that's in for a strike with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here pickoff throw back in safe really close the Orioles yet to pick up a hit here the punch out there and he's down on strikes for the second time today Quite right the start to this game on the mound, looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure them out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Next offering is in for a strike. And a ball evens the count. Way to lay off that pitch down. Righty delivers. That one out to right. Acuna there. Two down. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. 0 for 1. He flat out to right this first trip. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog. Not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Next pitch has popped up. He's got it. And that is out number three. And the Orioles leave one. They still trail 1-0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And yeah, the batter now, Marcelo Zuna. Kicks and fires. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. You know, these Braves do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Swing and a miss struck him out. 
Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row because that's one of those pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that curveball and figured he could finish with that pitch. They say you win. One ball, two strikes. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a two bagger. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's the left fielder, Kevin Pillar. Struck out swinging his first time. Kicks and deals. That's down and in. That one fouled off. Two and two. One out and a runner at second. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Picks up strikeout number seven. And now the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. The pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hayes racing over to make the catch. Braves strand one, but they lead it one to nothing. Back here in Atlanta, now Ryan O'Hearn. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. Right into the plate. And the tying run is on base. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. No outs. Runner at first. Austin Hayes. The next to hit for the Orioles. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. And that's outside. In the air, right side. And Acuna able to make the grab. And there's one down. So next to hit for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. The Orioles hitless so far in the game. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Pilar pulls it down and there are two away. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. That clips the zone, and that's strike two. Got him, and that's the ball game. 
Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. The final one to nothing. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.